Hello, welcome to Feedback. It's the week of December 22nd. Hanukkah is well over. Christmas is around the corner. New Year's is out there. And, you know, at, at some point, Arbor Day will be coming. And Groundhog Day. Yeah, but that's not really a holiday. It's Arbor not like Day Arbor Day. If Arbor you're from Day really Pennsylvania. You. It really does. It really does. What, Just what like makes Arbor Day work. a big holiday? Trees, Trees are big. big. <laughs> All the planting that goes but, on. But yeah. groundhogs are tiny. That's right. No, they're not. They're kind of big. They look like badgers. Well, comparatively. Compared to a tree. Hey, if, 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 if a, if a, if a, if a ground, groundhog bit me, I would be worried. What about a badger? I, I would be scared. What if a tree fell on you? You wouldn't care about that? While a badger was biting you. Well, if yeah, no, one else, if, no one else was around. If, if no a tree sound. falls on a badger while biting you in a forest, is anyone giving Nope. I don't think There's so. There's no, no funny movie called Arbor Day, I would just like to point out. Not yet. Yet. Groundhog Day. Screen, budding screenwriters out there. You would never be able to top the genius writing. that is Groundhog Day. Great. You ruined my deal with ICM. <laughs> First look. I heard this um, podcast is about video games. Yes, it is. It is. Um, oh, I like and, uh So uh, the the year is done. Nothing is happening uh, except uh, in about you know in a few days, a lot of people are going to get video games and they're going to play them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's you know there's travel and I mean, maybe people are listening to this in the car on the way to their parents' house and. I'm sorry. Through, through the woods, over the hills. Over the yeah. river, through the woods. My favorite Christmas memory from last year was when my cousin asked for uh, Modern Warfare 2 for Christmas and got Call of Duty 2. Cool. See, that happens a lot. And you know what? If, if you're one of the people out there, let, let's throw this out there. Share with us your stories about how you got kind of tooled with you know not understanding mm. uh, relatives. Great uh, gaming gift disappointments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't it's... you been to the pharmacy and seen like that knockoff Wii-esque thing that they'll have back there for like $30? And I'm sure some parent the has woo? bought that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, Timmy will love this. This is that Wii thing. Yeah, uh, poor, poor yeah. Uh, if, if, if that happens to you, I feel for you. It, it will change. You will turn 15. Are, um, there, are there any more titles coming out? Isn't Case West... Case, I mean, yeah. there's, there's, that's there's, coming out on like the 28th now stuff. or something. But in, in, in terms of the rally around, you oh, know, they're, they're all good. Yeah, it's, it doesn't start to Little Big Planet, what, third week of, of, of January, and, and then Dead Space. It's actually not looking too bad. Okay. Uh, instead of looking ahead, because we don't know what's coming, you know, it's, it, it's, it, there's just no reason to, you know, po- prognosticate, pontificate. About what's what's coming. Let's let's, let's right. talk about what happened because we're actually alone more. Cannot fight the we're, we're 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 more clear about that. Um, I, I I think for us and hopefully for others, uh, one of the biggest stories of the year, of course, we named Fall of Duty, uh, the rather shocking meltdown that happened with Infinity Ward. Just kind of you know we we broke a story that uh, well some large scary people showed up over the offices of Infinity Ward and uh, what precipitated over the next 48 hours was pretty much uh, the major players starting an exodus from there uh, which then ended up as Respawn Entertainment uh, with with EA Partners. That has created a lawsuit which is still in the Two lawsuits, I guess. Each yeah. side is, is each suing side the other. Suing, yes, exa- exactly. Suing each other. With, with, with some wonderful, wonderful, like, you know, if, if you want like a book on tape some of this stuff would, 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 would make it. As I described, uh, one, one of the statements coming from Activision regarding it really did start to sound like sort of, you know, almost like my mother. I, I wanted you to be a lawyer. I did everything for you, and this is how you pay me? Ah. This is a great yeah. audio book. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I mean, for you guys, I mean, it was, it was, how sign- I mean, it was exciting in the moment. Now looking back with, what, what was that, February? It was a while ago. Yeah, that was, that was a long March, time ago, though. That was like March, April. I yeah, I mean, it, with, well, it was before GDC. That before I know. Before GDC? Okay, yes. yeah. God, I, I remember. That was a long time ago. Was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. I was working at Joystick then, and I don't live that far from, from Infinity Ward's headquarters. So I read this story, and I'm like, I don't know. This sounds kind of like one of those, you know, promotional PR stunts or something. But I'm like. Even you thought that. You I thought, thought that. that. But then I'm like, I'm going to drive over to Infinity Ward's headquarters. And it was like 930 at night or something. And I did, and the security guards there were like, uh, we can't talk about anything. And I'm talking to them through the intercom. Like, they could see me through the, <laughs> the bulletproof glass doors, and they're not letting me in. But they're like, oh, what are, what are you here for, sir? And I was asking all the questions and stuff. Clearly something had happened, and they were kind of rattled. They didn't want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously, I know nothing more than kind of what we reported on. But, uh, That's it, right, because it, 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 it was like the launch week of Bad Company 2. And there That's was, right. Like, that, a lot of people thought that this thought was... It was a, a, in, in order to steal yeah. thunder from Bad Company 2's release, we'll pretend our company failed. Like that, that's, that's our PR Not stunt. all companies function like North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> when worried that they're not getting enough attention, they don't just fire missiles willy-nilly. Well, here, all we need to do now is send the Merrick Clapton. 
Yeah. Hear, yeah. Wait, really? What? What? I guess that they thought that that would be the way to create. They're sending know. Eric Clapton to Infinity Ward. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, North Korea. They're air dropping <laughs> him on North I'm Korea. I'm saying there was like one of the. I, I don't know. I've read some stupid things over the weekend. They're sending Eric Clapton to North Korea. No. They just said that that would be a way to, you know, if they if we wanted to encourage uh, any sort of uh, cultural diplomacy exchange? or something, we <laughs> should send him. We already Clapton. sent him like a symphony, and like they played music. It's not Eric Clapton. I know, but they don't have enough elect- electricity there to power the amp. I mean, it would have to be like that thing he did back in the '90s, where he sang that really sad song that was in Rush. Unplugged, yeah, where it was yeah. about his son dying or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that was featured I'm in that movie with, with Rush with, with, with Jason Patrick, which and I that... guarantee that Kim Jong Il has in his DVD collection. So it, <laughs> I it's really sort of redundant. Yeah, we know what scene he plays over. And over. I would just <clears> go <throat> more ambitious. I would be like a cream back together. Yes. Yeah. Don't just send Clapton for the North Korea tour. Yeah. Oh, tour. One location. We have two dates. We're two different parts of Pyongyang. <laughs> it writes itself. Uh, uh, back to Call of Duty. So in, in retrospect, how significant was this story? I mean, was it just kind of drama and soap opera? Or does this, uh, I mean, I, uh, or, or do you think this, this has greater resonance? I mean, we're not going to know until these court cases happen exactly, I think, the, the far-reaching aspects. But as far as that news went, it sent shockwaves throughout the industry. I mean, people... I, I remember when we interviewed um, Brian Gerard over at Bungie about when they signed with, with Activision, he was saying, because it was happening around the same time, he was like, yeah, it gave us a little bit of pause just in terms of timing, but it kind of made us think about things for a second. You know, you're signing with this big new company and like, oh my gosh, did I just sign with the evil Well, I mean, overload? that's the thing. is that it, it, It's not like Activision's corporate image was, you know, you know puppies and, 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 and yeah, yeah but I have to assume you know what you're getting these, into i mean the thing is they really have not felt that any need to kind of do some sort of pr and run around this i mean it almost kind of showed that activision is more than happy to take on the the attitude that yeah we're a big business and we well, make you know these decisions well in the end i don't you know you look at the bottom line and uh you know the the fall of duty was a resounding blop yeah and that uh black ops has sold better than modern yeah. warfare 2 so apparently as much as I would like to think otherwise, because I'm a big Infinity Ward fan or a fan of the guys who were Infinity Ward um, and are now Respawn, I uh, I was thinking maybe Infinity Ward was the key, and it turns out, no, it's just the Call of Duty name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, and, and the fact is, at least with that franchise, Activision knows how to create marketing muscle. I don't think that's surprising, though, because for so, you know, Guitar Hero would crush Rock Band for, you know, years, and I, it's kind of the same thing. Is it like they started, well, they anymore. had that name? No, but... And 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 people knew that name and went for that. I would say Black Ops is a stronger entry in the series than a lot of the post harmonics guitar heroes, though. Sure. But 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 if, but if you look what the pre orders were for Black Ops, I mean, those were people like you know who pretty much pushed it over the edge into this record breaking sale, yeah. sight unseen. This wasn't word of mouth that oh, yeah. <laughs> generated the uh, the 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 sales for for Black Ops. I I, I think the other thing is is that. The deal that Respawn seems to have with EA Partners, which is something that we've now seen also happen with with uh, Insomniac, is this very interesting thing where some very, very talented people, and when we talk about Bungie with Activision, you know, like the, kind of that creme de la creme group of the industry are getting to kind of write more of their own ticket than I think I've ever seen anyone do before. And, yeah. that, and that seems to be like one of the most interesting, you know, I guess ramifications of, of, of what's happened with this. Yeah, well, I, don't, yeah. I think we, we're all dying to see what they have. I mean, and, and it's, it's like owning the IP, and you know, obviously, you know, some of the stuff turns into me, you know, mega franchises with the novelizations and the figures and the. So you're finally hitting the, the point underwear. where you know it took a while, I think, for these mega franchises to become acknowledged as like, oh, this can happen in the industry now. So now, and now the people who made them are wanting a piece of that pie, or at least some some say in what happens to them right, afterwards. It, now, now, do you think? And uh, I was doing this on the soapbox that. There, there hasn't been, like, th- this has not been the year of innovation, to say the least. Mm. There's been strong games. Mm. But I'm, I'm wondering, are these deals giving this kind of free reign to these guys our best chance to kind of see someone go in a new and daring route that could kind of offer a new sea change? You know, something the, on a level of guitar here. In the yeah. AAA space, I would, I would yeah. think, probably, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It reminds me of, like, when the studio system started giving out lavish first-look deals to, <laughs> to actors and actresses everywhere, and then we all know how that went. They, those don't They're happen like, Oh, anymore. Michael Savino, we would love to give you money to make a exactly. turn-of-the-century movie with incredibly accurate costumes. <laughs> wah, wah. That sounds like a great idea. People will flock to the theater to see that. And now MGM is pretty much bankrupt. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it did take 30 years for that to finally, you know, like, yeah. you know, the, the Heaven's Gate thing to finally, you know... Get to that point. But okay, Fall of Duty, an exciting time. 
that was all the way back in late February or March. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and you can relive it again when again. the lawsuits happen in this period. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, obviously we will be covering that when that happens. Uh, so let's go to the second half of that that we're already touching about. Bungie has left Microsoft. That was never going to be a surprise. We knew Reach was the swan song. Right. Uh, that Halo was going to stay within Microsoft. But they've gone to Activision, which... And it did happen. I mean, obviously, the talks were happening yeah, prior to ever. Yeah, the timing was really odd. And it was just like, whoa, hey. And remember when at DICE, Bobby Kotick gave that speech? Yeah. Which <laughs> became, like, the most viewed thing on our website and for it, months. And it was, it's like, over the course of the year, that speech got so recontextualized with every new thing. At first, we thought he was making a really kind of glib comment that was just false you know, about how he cares for you know developers mm. and how they want to come to him because you know what was happening with Infinity Ward and then Bungie signs with him and realized that we think that's what he was talking about and it's a it's a 10 year deal with a game that has absolutely no release date yeah and Bungie gets to retain the IP the control yeah. of the IP yeah just well, that of, was the other weirdest part about it. Is like, oh, well, there's isn't that the deal that the other guys mm-hmm. want? When, wanted, so you oh. give the, the, the yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's yeah, the which, thing is that you you know they had a chance to have the Call of Duty people and the Halo people under the same roof there, and it seems like well they have Call of Duty. Well, yeah, but, but they don't have Halo. <laughs> but they have yeah. It's, but it's just like but the original it, it could have been such a, such a monopoly of talent. Oh, I know. Sort of yeah. Kind of I let mean, that walk out the door. I, I, I think the thing is because they retain control of the IP. It does, I, I think that's what fuels speculation about what is this exactly, because EA likes money, let's not, let's be honest. But Activision has so much of it that they got a good taste. It's like that, that first free hit, and like they're, they're going back to the pipe. Mm-hmm. And there must be a way <laughs> that Activision... World of Warcraft crack pipe. Yeah, yeah it, there's got to be a way that Activision's like, hey, you can have the IP because something clearly is happening here. And like subscription model is what I keep on thinking. Yeah, I don't know if Bungie yeah. was making an MMO, but you know, there's been all those interesting comments that Kotick has made about whether or not m- maybe they should just go to a subscription model for multiplayer in all games. I mean, it's really sounds... becoming a little disturbing, and that that yeah. combined with EA's recent comment about how games without an online component are over. Yeah, it's just like yeah, so... that was really disturbing. Yeah, that one's weird. I'm sitting there playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit now. I'm just like, so you want me to auto log everything now? Basically. I mean, I, is, is is this what it feels like to grow old? Like, all yes. of a sudden, the world's oh, becoming yes. alien and strange, and I don't want to walk out the front door because cougars might eat me. And yes, I mean, and, then, yeah, and then we'll talk about back yeah. in the day, oh, when games were somewhat free. And now they, they cost $60, not this monthly fee of 25 Oh, dear. Yeah, the license, like the, the EA license online thing, where it's like if you're not the first owner. Yeah, you have to yeah. pay, what, 10 bucks? Yeah. To, to... 5 or 10 bucks. Ugh. Now, uh, the, the, I think the other is... Do you, let's just, let's just guess. I said we weren't going to prognosticate, but let's prognosticate. When does this game even come out? Is I, it, I is say it not before gen- the next generation. Yeah, no, next that. generation. And we don't even know when that next generation is because nope. everyone's like, no, we're not changing. We're, we're 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 fine with this generation. I mean, I know I know that Bungie is is hard at work on it, whatever it is. When we were there for the Noble Map Pack, the, the, most of the building was off limits to us because we couldn't see what they were working on. And they had remarked that someone came in and asked, like, oh, are the Activision people here yet? And they're like, yeah, they're here. And they said, has it been strange? And they're like, uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve, learning to work together. But, you know, so they're folding in with this big corporation. But whatever it is, they're <laughs> full speed ahead on it. All hmm. right. I mean, yeah. I mean, just remember how long it took Halo, the original, Combat Evolved, to actually hit those consoles. Yeah. God, it was called Combat Evolved. Yeah. Why? We don't know. Well, originally it, oh, um, it was No, different. we do. But the marketing <laughs> department added that because they thought it sounded exciting. Oh, really? Wow. They added Combat Evolve. Remember that game, Evolva? That wasn't exciting. Evolva? I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Evolva. Evolva. Let's, it was a PC let's game. Let's okay. yeah. uh, Not Evolva. <laughs> the electronic Japanese simulation. But that just sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bungie's with Microsoft. Some of Infinity Ward's with EA, and some of Infinity Ward is still with Activision. Uh, but the big company, the company that's just kind of run roughshod over everybody, Nintendo hasn't been as strong. I mean, I think for the past six months, they have not been on the top of the charts, charts for hardware no, sales. We sort of expected that. I mean, there's only so long that you yeah. can sell at that rate and then have and one keep of these it things up. at this point. Yeah. Right. We expected Saturation. it. We expected it. But Nintendo seemed wholesale blind to it. And then, like, you know, Awada said that you know, it was for a lack of games. That's fully within your control, yeah, Nintendo. I, yep. 
And like you somehow they were behaving as if this was some, not going to follow the typical cyclical nature of, of of a console. Well, they did they did pretty well with games this year. I mean, with you know, you had Mario Galaxy two, and you had uh, New Super Mario New Brothers. New Super Mario Brothers was, was last November, and they had. Uh, other M should have been better Donkey than it Kong, was. Kirby. Donkey Kong, and, Kirby. Now, in I mean, theory, they, they were supposed to have Zelda this year, but they yeah. didn't. But honestly, if they had Zelda, would that have made a difference? I mean, would, 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 would that have pushed Well, I think Wii's? you're in a situation where now they've... Uh, I don't think you're going to sell too many more Wiis at the rate they were selling Wiis. So you you got to make that system viable as a software hit. Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah. And, and judging by, you know, if you're not a Nintendo release, probably not at this point. Yeah. You know, they... they Third-party games don't send, seem to sell particularly well. They've gotten that. crushed since that system came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's I mean, also, it's I, like, I would imagine most developers don't even care about it anymore. I mean, okay, Nintendo install base is this. Now, what is like, what, what what percentage of this is the person who pays attention to what games are coming out and plans to buy you know, a handful of games in the course of a year? It's probably this. Mm-hmm. So few. I mean, and, my I mean, parents have thing. one, but they yeah. have not bought a game since they got the thing exactly. two years ago. And the only reason that I think they even remember that they had one is because I got them last year a subscription to Netflix. And then all I heard was, well, why the hell can't I stream Netflix in this? And why can't I do it in HD? And I was like, my parents are slightly cool that they would care about that. <laughs> wow. But, uh, but but that's the thing. That's what was the most upsetting to them. They didn't really have the intention of using it as a game system. And then when it doesn't ha- do all the other things that you mm-hmm. know PS3 and Xbox do, they don't care anymore. See, I mean, and I, I can't only wonder what's going to be happening with Microsoft in the no. course of the next yeah. year. I mean, they're because... super excited about Connect, but all they want is the video chat so that they can talk to me and I'm out here. Well, in the, in well, the... Te- technology has a downside, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> In the new Tron film, the company Encom, that's from the first movie, uh, they're having a press release at the beginning of the film. They're announcing their new software is coming out, their new operating software. And Alan Bradley, who played Tron in the first film, is like, well, what's different about this release? And the CEO of the company is like, well, there's an 11 on the box. So literally it's not anything new. And I'm wondering if Nintendo is going to do that with the Wii HD. Granted, it's gotten something new, HD. But are they going to refresh that console at some point? I mean, I don't know. You've got the. I mean, if you look at the Dolphin emulator, where you can run, you know, you take the disc from the Wii game and you put it in a PC. You said it looks amazing. It looks incredible. You can run it at 1080p. Everything scales up pretty well. The funny thing is, the stuff from the beginning of the Wii's lifespan and the stuff recently scales up incredibly well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they've gone suddenly gone back, like Sonic Colors, is one of the most stunning games I have seen. Period. This year, if you run it on the Dolphin emulator. And Epic Mickey looks great too, and Mario Galaxy Two looks great, and it's just it, I'm almost sitting here thinking it's like, and like a lot of that is the image processing, like the output of the Wii. It's like the Wii hardware can do that, but mm-hmm. you've got like you, you know the the out image output quality on the on the Wii is it's worse than the GameCube. Yeah, because yeah. the GameCube had that digital out that was. Beautiful. Why doesn't Nintendo just create a piece of hardware that's that we exactly all have to buy? I'm thinking, well, okay, I'm thinking the Wii HD it, will just be a Wii with better output. Right, yeah. and, and that's the thing is that you know whatever makes the HD possible won't improve that processing so. Some of the more you know, like like clear re- restrictions. What what you see in Epic Mickey, the inability to have like a massively large environment, mm-hmm. or you know like being able to have the camera actually kind of just blend out. You mm-hmm. know like you know the, the the backgrounds, which you know something with stronger processing power can actually do. Would that actually resolve it, or are they just once again? No, just, I, it wouldn't. It would just I'm, do the basic thing that people are asking for without them realizing they probably want more than that. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that like uh, any Wii update would be the same hardware with a better output capability in terms of image quality it would be the same system but it would be able to output at native like 720p mm-hmm. or 1080p but, but it's also i mean look that controller how much is it limiting them i mean yes it was it was their blessing in the beginning but it begins to seem more and more like a straitjacket. doesn't have that many buttons and you know it, it, it does limit the ability of the player to independently control the camera uh, you know when and the character mm-hmm. i mean it just takes kind of what is now kind of a pretty basic standard type of game we play a shooter or a third person action adventure game just are both kind of confounded by that and I'm like just, i'm just wondering if we've gotten past the idea that the golden word for the generation is accessibility yeah like have we have we finally beaten that myth into the ground no the point i don't that, think like, we're there yet that like accessible is not the key to success well i mean i i i wonder when you look at the ipad and you look at something like angry birds I think that we can all sit here, and many of the people who watch this show know that there is a fundamental distinction between what is happening in that one space of the iPad, iPod, iFriend, iPoo, whatever, <laughs> and you know what's happening on the consoles. But they see that accessibility there, and that somehow it's mm-hmm. supposed to be 
you know, equally di- di- distributed across all types of game I just delivery. think there's a difference between a game you pay 99 cents for and a game you pay yeah. 60 bucks for. In terms, of, in terms of my level of expectation of what I'm getting out of it. For 99 cents, if it doesn't electrocute me, I'm pretty much not going to be that <laughs> upset about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. For $60, I, you yeah. know, I, I would like to think that there's something surprising four hours into it. It's mm-hmm. still, that's what draws people to it is accessibility. My, my aunt, who is in her 70s, owns a Wii. I, I was shocked when Does I went to her house. Does she play it? She plays it. Uh, she played it when she bought it, and now when new people come over, she shows them bowling, and that's about it. I wonder what percentage of Wii's in the country have never played anything but Wii Sports. A lot, I bet a, lot. a lot, a lot. I mean, that's the thing is that I think for many people, it almost comes across as like one of those plug and play systems mm-hmm. that has like three or four games, and you just put it right into the input of the TV, and you do it. Mm-hmm. That I mean, it's it's. I, I've always thought that. The price helped it sell, mm-hmm. but the price makes it a non-investment. You know, yeah. there, was, there was that crazy stat that highest income level for a console owner was the Wii, despite the fact that it was the cheapest console. Well, That's a lot of whimsical purchases. I think also, this say. promise of, like, it somehow did more. I mean, when you saw all the little sort of app things, basically, in the menu and everything, there was sort of this, like, wow, this does all this really cool things. And then you realize that your phone does all of those cool things, too. <laughs> well, remember and that then, one point, it's supposed to watch you know, my heart rate. And even they, like, kind of had to, like, never talk about that ever yeah, again. Yeah, what happened? Did it just vanish? Is it vapor, I, 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 vaporware? It's... Uh, it's like there's one room where they have the ideas, and there's another room where they apply the ideas, and those two rooms don't connect. <laughs> there's not a door in between them. <laughs> the windows and it, are I, The system also didn't connect me, speaking of that, to my friends particularly well. You know, oh, there yeah. were a couple they months where everybody on, on that aspect. passed around me. No, and online then and friends was stopped. terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk about why we can't say that Nintendo is completely in the poopy pot. Well, they're not because of the 3DS, which yeah. is going to crush. Uh, so they showed it. Well, first they announced it. When they didn't plan to announce it, but I guess like one of the Japanese papers had gotten wind of this mm-hmm. and was going to break the Yeah, there was like a leak and, or and something, I guess. And because it was also, that's right, it was two weeks like before the XL was going to come out. Mm-hmm. We're like, why on earth would they <laughs> yeah. put, put a kibosh on a, on a you know, the f- five billionth iteration of the DS? So, 3DS, they said it was going to be uh, 3D. We all went, what? And they said 3D without we glasses. And we went, what, what? And then we went to E3 and we saw it. And as Matt described it, what was it? Blood of angels? Uh, they trapped the soul of an angel in each <laughs> in each 3DS. That's how I it like works. I like blood of angels. That makes it sound all more dark. So- and I think that's bad. more something Microsoft would do. Yeah, I know. I, I guess like I just I, I kind of want to see the prophecy on cable again. It's been like a year, <laughs> mm-hmm. so you know. But it did surprise the hell out of everyone when they marched all those women out. Bound to the 3DSs, and you could go up and actually play it. And granted, you when they marched all those women <laughs> out, bound to the 3DSs. That's what, what I was, I was, never that's really what I was excited about. Through the jungles like of the Philippines, They, they were perhaps? bound to it. You could, not, you could not separate woman from 3DS. It was impossible. But and they, they only had a little tech demo on it that you could look at. But then later at E3, you could, yeah, they, you could they, play Yeah, no, they had it. Yeah. And well, that was the weird thing was like they'd give you the thing, they give you the 3DS, and, she, and it would be there was usually that ball bouncing in yeah. the well thing. She like hold it up, it works on the camera, so you're bouncing a ball off a model's face. Yeah, <laughs> with a it was, I, I, did, I was more and impressed with, by the Star which, Fox. It's funny. Frankly. I, I I kind of as coy as it is, I like the answer that Reggie gave me when I said how long have you been working on this. That and he good. said, ever since the Virtual Boy. Yeah. That this is, you know, that they were all too aware of the And yeah, Nintendo's been a little obsessed with the 3D thing since we were children, basically. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that they somehow saw something there. And you know what? Even with that brief look, and I know we've said that this about other texts, there seems to be gameplay applicability, but at the same time, unlike the Wii, you can still use it as a handheld system, flip the switch, and just have a beautiful, beautiful screen for a 2D yep. game. Mm-hmm. This seems to finally like be the cake and eating it, too, type, yeah. type, type system. I can't wait to see how people use it. I imagine that this year at E3 will be seeing a lot of Well, didn't they say this year party, yeah. it was going to work with the, your Wii somehow? They were, there was going to be... Oh, they said that about the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yep. yeah. And they said about the PSP. It didn't really ever happen, but they just recently said this. They, so there, was a, there was something in Super Paper Mario 2 that looked like the DS on one of the walls, and I took out my DS, and That's I spent right. about a goddamn half hour trying to figure out if there was any sort of connectivity or if I could do Nothing. anything for it before I realized that I'm an idiot and you can't. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, though, that that'll make, if they ever get their act together on it, that would make one hell of a game of Fatal Frame. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that you're right. Sweet. Yeah, oh, where the yeah, hell is right. that, that game? Be cool. Because they have been talking about a fatal frame for the oh, there so was a, long. There was a Wii one, I, I think, but they didn't bring it here. Uh, so it comes out. There, there, there's two things that do make me wonder. 
How much is it going to be? Because it could right right now with the yen pricing for the Japanese. Well, release, also with that Canada that Canada ad leak. That's right. That what what like did they say for that? Two hundred fifty dollars, I think. Or? Yes, it was two hundred. It was something like twenty bucks more than the than the DS launched or something. And like it it, it works out to like an estimated close to three hundred U.S. dollars. I mean, it's it's, it's 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 a little on the pricey side. Secondly, I, I mean, a lot of people I think don't you know. And I'll, again, I want if if it does come out at two ninety nine, called it. I said that on one one of he these said back it. then. So none of you, um, like, claim but I otherwise. think it, I think it doesn't matter. I think that, I think, and I think you're in the same situation that like Microsoft with the Connect, where it costs like forty seven bucks to make it, but it's one hundred and fifty bucks at retail. Because if you charge like sixty bucks for that, everyone would think it's a piece. Of yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's, it's, a, it's playing into what the I said. The three DS looks yeah. like it should cost three hundred dollars yeah. when yep. you see it. Um, here's. The thing that I think might cause them some issues around the time of launch. They've already said it's not intended for children under seven. When you consider who, nin- who Nintendo, especially their handheld audience, can really be, that's a pretty hefty statement. And I yeah. can also see that... Do you think parents are actually going to know that? Well, or... I'm thinking, no. Good Morning America, no, you know, some of these, a lot of these new shows that have that kind of an audience, especially CNN, you know, Faux News, and, and all those guys, this is going to be a rallying point about the dangers of 3D. But they're, they're idiots. It's they're going to, gonna they're going to, they're going to pick March. that story up like six months after the the, the system has been out and, yeah. and well, no, but children have been the story with without Nintendo. children whose eyes have really been I ruined. know. <laughs> you but, have but, to bring but, in that child. But, but, but when the Nintendo child is already can, in, you know, can saying there might be a danger there, I mean... Is there? Is that real? Is there? A, yeah. What well, is the what is the normal chi- well, DS I, I, considered? I, 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 I think the way of thinking is that a child's eyes are still developing, and that you're playing with like clearly whatever the technology there is is not. It's it, it's a complete trick on the eyes, and maybe it'll I don't know rewire you. I think it's not. I don't think it's a uh, good enough news story until the, they can bring the first child in with its bandaged little eyes. Good yeah. enough news can't, story. What? Then it what can is cry it, what is with Katie Curry. All, what is it going to no, do? No, it can't cry anymore because what's it supposed to do? Like if you if you what? if you, if you make a kid a four year old play the 3ds for like a day without stopping, what's it supposed to do? I have no idea. What does it do? Well, we're going. I, to what's have the to danger? Make your eyes cross. Permanently. Run that test. Yeah, maybe like you develop. I don't know. It's always, Lazy. Eye. I mean, the, the, the way this always goes down is it's a threat that won't manifest itself until 15 years after we've forgotten about it. Yeah. But just driving down the street. <laughs> ah, 3ds. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so 3ds probably going to come out in March. I'll have one. I'll play it. Me too. Same. Maybe. I don't know. They're they're pushing that as an entertainment console too, right? With movies and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 3D movies. The Legend be... of the Guardians trailer looked really good on it. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> didn't help the movie. But <laughs> every everything can play a movie. It's just it's just one of those. It's, at some point, I just want to know, like, do you? I, I I I don't need to always be able to see a movie at all times. It kind of takes the special out of the movie. Yeah, I guess. It? But if, if it's a way to watch those like DreamWorks CG movies without glasses on, done. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah, that's really their selling point. So if I've never seen any more of those DreamWorks CG movies, I'll do respect to some people out there. Uh, I, I probably will go on in life. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Megamind. I just haven't gotten to it. Yeah. I He's going to be saying that next year. I still haven't gotten around to it. It's cool. <laughs> I never saw Up either. I don't, I mean, what? I'm just, I'm lazy. Yeah, that movie's good. Up made me cry a lot <laughs> that, for that, that, hours. Yeah, yeah. Well, now I'm in like, not, now minutes. everyone says that, so I, like, yeah. Yeah, unless this thing is like. What, are you afraid to cry? Well, no, I just don't think it's going to be as now sad it's been as you so all built up. up he has to be, yeah. Um, exactly. Like, they're going to have to, like, murder kittens in the first The funniest is when, oh, you see spoiler spoiler alert. when you see a parent talking to a child about Up, because the kids don't understand what's so sad about it. Nope. And the parent looks vaguely kind of traumatized, you know, going back <laughs> through their head about what happened in that. It's always an interesting exchange. Kids Motion don't have controls. that thought of, like, I'm getting older and everything around me is going to die. I know. Kids don't think we that. We live with that daily. I know that. Yeah. I live with it more than you. Happiest feedback ever. He's, close, he's closer. <laughs> uh, okay. one, more, one more Christmas that you'll never see again, kids. In the, uh, the, the t- oh, this oh, year? You're oh. not going to make me cry on feedback. Do the gifts you got make up for the time you've lost? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I think wow. I can summon a tear. It might be from laughter, but can we? Oh, my God. There is a tear. Oh, a real my. tear. That is on cue. It's actually a genetic disorder. I can't help my eyes from tearing and crying. Was it's it because you played problem. video games as a child? I think it had to do with the 3DS that existed. I knew when it. I was, you know, it's two. You, really, you, I don't. Just from seeing it I don't cry because my insides are swirling with Santa Anna's. What if it is actually the <laughs> SNES and uh, or the NES, and now we're just finding out? You're going to be test subject zero. Mm. Okay. Have you, so, have you thanked your parents for your genetic disorder? <laughs> yes. Many virtual times. boy. Virtual boy did it. So this year we saw motion controls. In addition to the Wii, connect, move. One seems to have done well. 
One seems to be out there. One seems to have shipped, yeah, shipped a lot of units rather yes. than so It looks like that, that Microsoft themselves have said, like, hey, we sold over $2 million in that first month. Pretty good numbers, I gotta say. We'll see if um, they hit their five million target. But, but uh, so so let's let's tie this to what we're talking about with Nintendo. Let's let's not worry about Move now. Move may have a moment. It may be over. <laughs> I, was, Kinect, I feel like that's what Sony said too. Is Kinect gonna go the way of the Wii? I I don't know. It seems so much more applicable because it's like it's got some of the elements of the Wii, but with all the things that I don't like about the Wii removed, which was that it's not on the Wii. Yeah, but at the same uh, time, I impulse bought a Kinect the weekend it came out. Yeah. And I played Connectimals, and I played the game that came with it, and I played some Dance Central, and I haven't played it since that day because every time I think about maybe I should play the Connect, I have to move my table, That's and I don't exactly want to move my why table. I haven't done it. And so I just sit there with this glowing eye on top of the TV, staring at me. Like I feel like it judges me. I'm but... I'm sort of with you on that I, though because I, I was excited. I impulse bought it too, and uh, the other day I thought about playing it because I just didn't want to play anything. This is and this is also framing the thing. I didn't want to play anything serious. I just kind of wanted mm-hmm. to goof around for a few minutes, and I was too lazy to move the furniture. It's a pain. It's a pain. I, I, I impulse didn't buy it. <laughs> I was where it was, thought about getting it, and went, eh, who needs it? And walked out of the store. Hmm. I think mm-hmm. it's the first time I can say I did an impulse didn't mm-hmm. buy. I, know I, I, I did that once with an iPhone, but it was just because there were just too many people in that Apple store. And now I'm even afraid to turn connectables on because I'm afraid they're going to wonder where I've been. That was my problem with it because I got scared that it might turn into an Animal Crossing. Like Animal Crossing, thing, they're like, where have you been? They're all up, crying, now and... emaciated, and and and. <laughs> or they just We've been attack drinking you. the sea they water on the you. island. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> no. Well, no. here here is what Connect needs to do to sell a ton of titles: make Netflix work with your Connect controls. You can do the Zoom mm-hmm. video with it, but Netflix does not work with the Connect. Well, I was I was I was saying on on on, on a soapbox. And I thought this when they when they first announced it. I was surprised they didn't go that way. I think the majority of the game should be DL. I mean, should, 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 should be downloadable. Yeah, not a disc. Yeah, exactly. That it's like you walk into the store where you – I don't care if they're $50. It's, it's the same price range. You see full-fledged, full-bodied game like your Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed. And then you see, hey, wave the arms around minigame collection. What One's going to win over the other. Yeah. Bring, bring down the overhead, drop it by another 15 bucks, and just make it downloadable. Yep. And then you can get that whimsical purchase. Which and if I, you make them all downloadable, stored on the hard drive – Voice activated. Yeah. I'll play that more often. Yeah. I, can, exactly. I, can just, I can just say Xbox Connectables and it pops it up. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be great. I mean, it, 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 also, let me, me turn it, it off. Means, can, can you just... can you install Connectables to your hard drive? You still have to have the disc in. Oh right, just like every other game. Yeah. yeah. Then your then your drive purrs. It goes, oh, it's so furry. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I mean, do do you, do you think we're gonna go? What happened at the at this point next year? I think it's 2011. Microsoft has said hardcore games. Are coming. They haven't told us exactly what they are. TGS, we saw a little bit of a preview. I got to say, between Nintendo and Microsoft, you know, Sony actually hasn't said anything like this. Though I have more confidence that something that might be felt hardcore might actually come out on the move. I don't think anyone knows. I don't think, like, the marketing speak for hardcore has veered so far away from what the assumed meaning is. Well, it's becoming just meaning, like, like hardcore just means, like, it has robots. Yeah. Yeah. It's It's not animals. I mean, I I think about two years ago, I'm interviewing interviewing Aaron Greenberg about where all the games are. He goes, well, they're coming. They didn't come. Mm -hmm. There were games that were available on the 360, but in terms of, like, that, 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 that list of exclusive titles he wasn't there well and also the 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 360 release list for next year is a giant gaping hole Mm -hmm. like nothing i can't there's gears three and who knows mass effect three and what yeah i mean it's it's uh, it's i mean they they need connect so if there's any reason the connect's going to succeed it's because Mm -hmm. this all this is all microsoft has to succeed with yeah well all i can say is they better not screw up steel battalion because they've got a, they got potential there. Well, I think we can put that one on Capcom, can't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about. I don't mean. I mean, just mean whoever's making that. Don't screw it up because there's potential there. I mean, and don't be afraid to use the controller. I would say, you know, maybe maybe use the controller and like you've just got secondary functions on the Connect. Yeah, we've all been sort of hoping for that. I think we bring that up every time we discuss Connect. Is that we all want to use a controller with it. I would like a few games actually where I wouldn't have to get off the couch, even though yeah. I'd probably well, have to stand I don't yeah. want to do the. I wouldn't mind doing both. I don't want to have to do this when I'm playing Steel. But, you know, like, oh my I god! I want you to because that was funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah, the ro- you're the one that, who's got to isn't do that it the on RoboCop camera. dance? Yeah. How does that RoboCop go? Uh, so I, I want to talk about one last one. We've we've talked about so much we can pretty much just kind of do the top line. Video game Supreme Court case. This is the big one. 
more or less, you know, it, you know, even in the hearings I was at, they pretty much said, hey, this is protected speech. But this is whether or not that more or less it becomes more of a, like like the rights of minors and that whether or not you can sort of abridge them uh, for a greater good and whether or not the Supreme Court's buying this. Hey, violent video games is going to cause something so terrible for society. When this, I, I tell you, when this first started happening and coming up and when Hillary Clinton and Joseph Lieberman was all, were all railing against video games and the whole hot coffee thing happened. If you had told me one day that video games would be seen in front of the Supreme Court not that long from then, I would have been very worried about the state of the industry and what could potentially right. come out of that court case. Mm-hmm. After this court case happened and hearing how it went down, I was so happy. Yeah. It was great. It was fantastic vindication for the industry. Kagan knows about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> how weird is that? I liked it during her hearing so she seemed like a funny lady. Now, <laughs> now I just like her more because she knows about the Mortal Kombat. And the obvious thing that you know, probably young people have all played that game and they haven't gone around stabbing anyone. Yes. In fact, some of them work at the Supreme Court. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how the... Some of them work here. I'm not sure how you hold up call, like something like Call of Duty. is like It's like, look how violent this game is, and it sold 10 million copies. And, like, and have there been 10 million murders? Yeah, same with Grand Theft Auto No. Form. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really... I mean, Parents Television Council and all these groups, it's like, look, you, you, you've beaten the horse to the point that you can't tell it's a horse anymore. Go find a fresh horse, shoot it, and start beating on that one, okay? Yeah. There. I'm done. Plus, it was bad. Once everybody complained about there was too much violence on the news, now we just cover, like, Paris Hilton and <laughs> So, I really, really... Yeah, look what we got. Look what we have now. Yeah, and we're ignoring Sudan at the same time. So exactly. that, that, well, that's that really violent. I know. So we, don't, we don't show that. No, we don't want to show that. No, if you show it, there's going to be more copycats. Uh, okay, so let's, let, let, let's go to some Sudan. questions of the week. I want to talk about Black Prince 42, uh, because I, I heard he had an issue with Black Prince 35. Just heard it. <laughs> I don't know. Just, if you want to comment on it, you can. It's been remarked by industry experts like Michael Pactor that the game industry is the same. <laughs> Why did you pause? I didn't pause. It was a slight dramatic pause right there. <laughs> I did. There was a oh, slight dramatic no. pause. Mikey, Mikey, no maybe, dramatic pause. I love you. Maybe that was I love supposed you. to be an end there. That the game industry has a cycle of quality releases every three years. 1998, 2001, 2004, 2007. All were very notable in terms of both the quality and quantity of games released and sold. Uh, do we feel that he's saying that, do we feel that 2010 was disappointing? He lists some games that I don't think we were, were disappointing, but weren't remarkable. I've been commenting on this as well. I mean, this was not a game-changing year, despite the fact no. that, you know, yeah. we can pet a virtual kitten. There weren't as many standouts for me this year. There's a lot of stuff that I really enjoyed. Right, like, like, also, two of the big like, standouts were in January. Yeah. Well, the, right. Bayonetta being one of the few new IPs. Mm-hmm. But like, when, when we looked at our, like, you know, game of the year, like, that, that short list, no one of them stood out as so much better than anything else on mm-hmm. that list. And, I, I, you know, it was almost like, hey, but that's both good and bad. There's a lot of strong games, but nothing that was... Yeah, and there, yeah there really are. I just, I don't know. That's either... This wasn't the year where I was like, oh, my God, biggest year. And you had a couple, like, less impressive follow-ups to games that were made big splashes to, you know, Fallout. Well, Fallout it's, it's... and Fable had not disappointing. Fallout, well, Fable was a little disappointing. But, like, New Vegas was, like, so didn't fix a lot of the problems. New Vegas didn't fix a lot of the problems that Fallout 3 had, like, technologically. Yeah. And, and Fable 3 introduced a lot of problems that Fable 2 didn't have. So, But, I mean, I, I think the other is we've really seen this trend of this two-year cycle for sequels. And it was I, a, I, I, wonder if shorter. This, I wonder if this is part of the problem. Yeah, it was a sequel thing how that got to me do? this year. I how just much, something new. But also, how much can you do in two years? A, I haven't missed the game so much that I need to have it. Nope. B, you you really have to pretty much use the same engine, pretty much use the same game mechanics. I mean... Well, then, like, Brotherhood was made in one year. Yeah, and that game was awesome. And then we'll see uh, what happens with the next one next year. Yeah. yeah. If that, and then yeah. the year after that. And the year after that. Well, see, it's getting to where, like... I mean, I don't know about you guys, but as a gamer, I start to feel exhausted when there's a new game popping up and oh here's another sequel oh we got dlc oh and we've got dlc now on top of that dlc it's going to come out the week after this dlc so it's like you constantly have this glut of stuff to play and then as a result you don't really get to spend quality time and find anything that grabs you a lot i i i, I it's, it's a phrase i've used before uh i believe i picked it up matt might know this it was either peter stack or uh, what's his face from the san francisco chronicle it was like yeah mick lasalle did a whole comment saying, hey, it's hard to miss you if you won't go away. And they're referring right. to Whoop, Whoopi Goldberg in the late 80s. <laughs> <laughs> or Pretty now. Pretty much anywhere or, or between now. Fatal Beauty and The Telephone. Yes, I just referenced that movie. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> not a tour de force, kids. Uh, but, I mean, I, that, 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 that is how I'm feeling. And that Bayonetta was a great game regardless. But, my God, it was the only thing that just felt like 
fresh, new in terms of just its attitude and its yeah. look. I mean, as I said on another soapbox, it's like I'm, I'm playing a lot of penis these days. I just want something that doesn't I, feel like it's, it's just so towards this one particular type of like sort of male attitude. Give me something that's a little bit more diverse. This year for me was just a big year for downloadable and mobile. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, that, I that, ended up playing fresh. so many of those games. Just it was nice to have those short. I mean, I granted, I loved a lot of the games that came out this year, but I have a little bit of the sequel fatigue. Yeah. And I want to see something new and exciting. I mean, part of the reason I'm so excited for like Bioshock Infinite, even though it's Bioshock, is it just looks totally different and weird and crazy. I want that right out. now. So I don't badly. need a game I've never even considered could be could exist. You know, yeah. a game that somehow simulates being inside of a pool of jelly. I don't need that. <laughs> I'm thinking of that Carson sketch. Remember yeah. when he jumped in the Jello, mm-hmm. which would be fun. But something that just feels like it's been given a lot of care and attention, and it wasn't just kind of repackaging something that feels all too familiar. Yeah, yeah like Pac- so nice. Pac-Man is a good example. That could have easily just been, oh, it's Pac-Man, you know, blah, blah, blah. But they clearly loved this title, and what they did with it is so amazing. Yeah. that I, That's some of the best 800 points I've spent all year. That game yeah. is, is great. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a great game. And, and, and it's one that I think I can return to year after year after year because that game just gives me a sensation. Mm-hmm. That sometimes, you yeah. know, I just I, I want that feeling of eating a bunch of I ghosts. I still like go back and play patty. Geometry yeah. Wars from yeah. time to time. There's those games that just stick with you, and they're great and fun, and I go back to those. Uh, so let's just go around as we wrap this up uh, for, for, at least for me, for uh, 2010. Uh, Kevin, what game do you imagine you'll be playing while you take some time off, assuming you do? Oh, gosh. Well, I, I haven't really delved into New Vegas other than when we were kind of previewing it and looking mm-hmm. at it. So I have that ready to go. And besides that, uh, I never co opt through Borderlands. Uh, Jake, who works here, just got it. He's never played it. We're looking at co oping through some of the Oh, man, I time. can power level the f out of you. I, I yeah, love There's a lot of people, the fact less, less, people less love it so much. Doing that. Matt? Um, I'm thinking about going through Mass Effect 2 again. I need to finish Brotherhood. And uh, I'm going to, I'm also, I've been sitting back and picking up like some of the real cheap stuff on Steam as they do those sales. And I've been playing uh, the uh, the Undergarden. Oh, it's a great and, game. Uh, Poker Night at the Inventory and like some minor, like little things that like simple things that I don't have to break out game facts for and stuff. Just yeah. Something I can sit there and play and not worry about. And Defense Grid, uh, Defense Grid. I've been playing a lot of that. It's a great game too. Great game. Questionable name. And I'm going to play through The Witcher again. <laughs> Because the Witcher is yeah. coming up, kids. I need to fix my PC, and I want. Oh, I want to do that. Uh, Abby, what are you playing? Well, I when I go home, I got nothing really except uh, I don't have consoles or anything. So I'm, I'm gonna. I've been playing Infinity Blade. I uh, am going to check out some more mobile games, and oh, I will actually. We do have a PC. I will be ra- raiding my brother's Steam account for whatever's interesting on there. Usually, I go and I just download a bunch of like indie titles and. Uh, yeah, probably all that stuff and everything that I missed and I didn't miss much. Like you guys are like, you know, I haven't finished brother. I, I finished all of that. I need, I, I need something new. I you want to be small. It. Wait, so you're going to be away from Don't your console? Don't challenge me, Matt you're, Kyle. You're, you're I will do it. away from your console over the holidays? I'm away from everything. I, I spend time Thank with my God, family. Because and... we have to get her away from Marvel Pinball and, and Pinball FX2 so Why? she can stop Why getting the that? freaking high scores. 107 million points. Ugh. Yeah, you're, you're a, rather good at that Spider-Man game. I cannot even get close to that score. It's ridiculous. That's why I Keep never crying. start trying. We're going to break your thumbs. <laughs> more, more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's to me like the hustler. It's like, yeah, I know. Fast uh. Abby. Ah, look what they did to my thumbs. <laughs> that is my worst is Paul like Newman fast. impression. Don't suggest that to them. They might. They'll find a way to make it look like an accident. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what game I'm going to be playing. What? I'm going to be playing the game of napping. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, Epic yeah. Mickey. That was the one because my All parents right. actually do have a Wii. Because they do have a Wii. All right. You won't be able to take your save back. Well, guys, thank you so much. Have I'll just Kelly. take the whole <laughs> Wii. I don't care. <laughs> they Neither won't notice they. for weeks. Whoa. They won't notice for years. Kevin Kelly, Matt Kyle, Abby Heppy, me, Adam Sessler. Uh, this is my uh, final feedback of the year. So uh, I wish you all a happy new year. You guys, too. Uh, hope you're around when we do it again in 2011. <laughs> all right. Oh, Bye-bye. How Bye. ominous. Yay. <laughs> and to all a good night. Hello there. I'm Adam Sessler, host of X-Play, editor-in-chief at G4TV.com. I talk a lot about video games, and sometimes a camera is in front of me when I'm doing that. We call that Sessler's Soapbox. It takes about two minutes of your time, but trust me, you will hear invective and joy and probably a lot of rude things like you've never heard before in the context of video games. I do it for you, so you should check it out. It's up every Tuesday on G4TV.com.